What's going on, guys? Hanging with me right now, I have Ross Butler. What's up? What's up, Ross? How are you? I'm doing. Congratulations on all of your success. Thank you. Most recently to all the boys. P.S. Yes. I still love you. It's yes. so cute. Yes, I still love you. Because the movie, it's obviously love is the major theme, of yeah. course. So I what? have some questions. What? I know, so what? weird. I have some questions for you as Ross to answer mm. about love. Good. Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've oh, been notoriously single for like a decade, but yeah, sure. Ask it, me hey, there's love. nothing wrong with that, all right? No, there's nothing wrong with Nothing there. wrong. Just, maybe not the leading expert. <laughs> But this is why we want to ask, because this yeah. is you. Okay. Your fans want to know. Okay. Do you believe in soulmates? Like, as in a love at first sight, like, you, these two people are the only two people meant for each other sort of soulmate? Or that, like, just the concept that... I would just say the concept that they exist. That you can have a mate in, like, another soul. Someone you, like, really, really love. And just one? It like, you be... only have one soulmate, and... Because that's... <laughs> We're getting technical. It's a really Listen, specific. What are the rules? We're talking about <laughs> astrology. We're talking about all this stuff. I can't answer the questions like that. Okay, so answer it like yes, I do. If I do, but I don't think there's just one person out there for everybody. Okay. I think that is what leads to a lot of relationships that don't work. Mm -hmm. I think that it's just you have really high expectations um, that you put on somebody else, which is unfair because you think that that's your soulmate. And this right. has to work, and I think when you have that sort of expectation that something is not in your control mm -hmm. and that something is just fate and it's meant to be, uh, I think that puts a lot of pressure and that ne isn't necessarily the best thing to go into a relationship. I think it's like if, if it works, it works right. and you shouldn't have to force it. So. I agree. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Do you think you can love two people at the same time? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Oh. I, I, I think that's... Um, yeah, I, I think compatibility is, again, with the same idea of, of like, I don't think there's just one person that you love, and if you say that, if you say that to yourself, I think that's just gonna make you think of this other person as like the forbidden fruit, and it's gonna make you want them more. Right. So it's, I, I think, yeah, we, we should be free to love, um, and then when we get to the point where we wanna have like a relationship with one or the other, then you have that conversation, but I, I, I think you should keep yourself open. Yeah. yeah, that's always a good thing. Yeah, be open. Okay, can you list some of your dating green flags? Green flags. So there's red flags, right? Oh, like automatically okay. nah, but like I'd green. never heard of that. Really? The green light, <laughs> green lights, like things that I look for or things that if I see it, I'm like cool. That one. That one. Yeah. Um. Man, uh, I, I think it's the number one thing I look for is, is curiosity. Of, of a wanting to to experience life because uh, I have a lot of hobbies mm -hmm. and I and I the way I see life is like on a spectrum like a color spectrum and if you enjoy certain things like the basics like yeah, I enjoy food or I enjoy this you're experiencing life like with these broad strokes and just the more specific you get about certain things like oh I love sushi so I start like getting into sushi or I love curries or whatever mm -hmm. you're just kind of you're, you're curious so you experience life on a different spectrum than people that don't go to, into deep, or learning about astrology, like that's right. a pseudoscience. So learning about that just opens your eyes a little bit. So it's just, that's, I, I would want to experience life on that spectrum with somebody that is just as curious and just, and wanting to live on that wavelength, you know? I love that, yeah. yeah. I think that's your Gemini moon, by the way. That's my Gemini moon. Speaking, <laughs> they love to be stimulated. Yes. You know? Okay, um, question about timing. Mm. So, are you someone who believes you can meet the right person at the wrong time? Yeah. Okay, so it's not automatically like wrong person if it's wrong time. No, no, I think- I just love this debate because everyone always has different answers, you know? <laughs> yeah, I think it goes down again to just the things that are out of your control. Like to say that you met somebody and it was just the wrong time, therefore it's never gonna work. Yeah. Like that's leaving it to fate and that's like, oh, it's just, or chance. No, I think you can meet somebody and, and you can really connect with them and maybe it's not the right timing, but then further down the road, when the timing is right, um, you can explore that path. You know, I, I don't think you should write off somebody just because. Um, now, if you're meeting somebody at a point where you're like really vulnerable and making bad decisions, like maybe, right. <laughs> <laughs> and and it's the opposite, and you think they're the right person, but then at the end they, they're the wrong person, then that's a whole other story. Right. But yeah, I think timing is irrelevant. Cool. Okay. On the other side, mm. can you list red flags or one if you don't have multiple? Um. 
red flags as in like, I'm not interested or red flags like I need to get out of here? Like what kind of, what level of red flag? <laughs> um, any of them. So um, like one like bad communication for me, like that's a red flag for me. Yeah. Might yeah. not be for other people, but. Bad maybe communication, simple. but like all, I would say the opposite, like closed mindedness or like, an, a, a, yeah. like somebody that isn't curious or somebody that doesn't like to, doesn't want to learn or to explore life or like somebody that's just comfortable with the way things are and just knowing right. what they know and not, yeah, not curious. The, un, the uncu, uncurious, my, my opposism, <laughs> that's it, right? Watching Myopic is like out. an great. objective <laughs> uh, adjective. Is your coffee cooking in or is it going out now? <laughs> it's been kicking in this whole time. <laughs> <You know? laughs> okay, last one, this one's fun. Okay. A song to blast when you're getting ready for a first date. Maybe like a song that hypes oh, you up. What are you listening to? There is one song called Sixes to Nines by Big Wild. And it's it has like a very 80s Prince type vibe to it. Um, I highly suggest it. It's it's just the, the title. You, you, it, he says, you turn my sixes to nines. And I guess I, that could be seen not as, <laughs> let, take it as... You're just turning that six and make Upside it. Down? You're going from a six. You're living life at a six and you make it a nine. That's cute. I yeah. like it. And it's and it's a very catchy song and I, I've been listening to it a lot. Awesome. Um, yeah. Don't, don't get your minds out of the gutters. Right? Yeah, guys. Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ross, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for great. coming by. Congratulations yeah, on everything. Young Hollywood, go check them out. P.S. I still love you. You won't want to miss it. You guys have like a hand signal, like young. Hollywood or something? No, but we, well now we Feel, do. Or, oh, <laughs> Young Hollywood, because it's like Y and then a, Wait, an H. Yeah. Young Hollywood. Young Hollywood, go check out. <laughs> P.S. I still love you. Peace. See this rock. guy, you won't want to miss it. <laughs>